mental health in general, the promotion of it, the destigmatization of mental health disorders is a relatively recent thing. It makes sense that now that we've made a lot of collective societal efforts to destigmatize, normalize, accept that it's an issue in our society, and our mental health promotion plan is the next step, it makes sense that that's where we're going towards. We're trying our best to promote it whenever we have the opportunity. And it might not be specific enough the way we approach public facing recommendations. And we're trying to address that. And we're hoping that it, over time, we gain more and more momentum in terms of getting public health agencies on board to use the framework. We've actually put together the 12, 13 different approaches for mental hygiene. We're trying to give it really a nice broad layout for whatever people's preferences are, whichever one, one minute, 10 times a day, two minutes, five times a day, whatever way works for you. But also a gratitude exercise in writing three things you're grateful for every day. We talk about certain like breathing exercises. It's just about little habits to just learn to just slow down the thinking and doing it on a regular basis. We find just the term mental hygiene can be a nice way to open up the conversation. And now that we're trying to concretize the recommendations of 10 minutes a day in whatever format, it gives flexibility for people to, to make it their own and, and do whichever way works for them. 